summer kind of talk. Um, first off, um, I have no commercial interest in this. So I'm not trying to sell anything. Um, what happened was um, a person named Jameis Buck, no relation to me, not that we can tell at least, uh, came up with, uh, well, was starting to write a book on a ray tracer and wanted people to do technical reviews of his book. So he contacted his friend, who you may know, a guy named Randy Coleman. And Randy says, hey, I know just the guy. And he contacted me. So Jameis asked me if I could do a technical review of his book, which is now available in the Pragmatic Press. And it's called the Ray Tracer Challenge. Um, as a part of doing that, I also offered to write a foreword to his book, which I gave to him. And it actually mentions that I did all these, uh, all these um, tests uh, myself in Smalltalk, which is my favorite programming language. So I got a little plug for Smalltalk into a pragmatic book. Um, the idea of the book is Jameis uh, will take you through the development of your very own ray tracer. Um, he will start from very simple concepts, explain what the ideas are about, some of the basic math involved, how to code the math. Everything he does, he'll write um, pseudocode test cases and say, write this in your own favorite programming language and get the test case to run. And if that runs, then you know, as we go on, you'll be able to render real pictures with your program. So I did this all in, in VisualWorks. Here is my VisualWorks browser. I'll come in, I'll just deselect that. Uh, 78 test cases. I'll run it and all my test cases passed. Um, this, to be honest, is um, a snapshot at a certain point in time. It was fairly late in my development process for this, but my more recent work is on the laptop that's at home that I don't have access to. So for demonstration purposes, I'll use this one. Um, and you can see all the classes that I define, things like materials and matrices. He goes through all of the math on how to do matrices. He describes it in pictures, and they're amusing little pictures. Um, and so that just slipped off. Let me just show you a few things. He starts off by saying, let's just do a render to text, because that's a whole lot easier than rendering to a color canvas. So um, one of the early tests renders a sphere to text. And I just drew it onto the transcript. That just proves that your object sphere intersections are working and that um, you can get some sort of basic shape out of it. And that's, you know, that's an accomplishment in this book. I don't have very much I can show here, but I will do a full canvas render. It takes a minute. Renders it at 512 by 512. I can change that. There's my render. It's a sphere with a light source, has reflection on it, a little bit of fong lighting. That's small talk. Yeah. Written in small talk, writing to a small talk window. I just grab the, uh, grab the window and say, no, here's a pix map, display it. It's that easy. Uh, so I went through most of his book, most of because at the time that I finished doing my technical review, he hadn't finished later chapters. Um, I was able to submit some feedback to him about things that were confusing, or maybe you should explain it this way, or this, is a, this detail in the pseudocode is wrong. Gave him feedback on all those said, you know, it would be really, really nice if you could put some sort of textures into this. And by the time he finished the book, he was able to get some textures in. So at this point, um, the book is out, and you can purchase it from the Pragmatic Press. Um, 
I, uh, I have the code for that I wrote for the book, but to be honest, you don't want my code. If you're going to read this book, you want to go through and do it yourself. The journey is the point of the book. The end goal of getting a ray tracer is not as exciting as the journey of coding it all yourself. So don't ask for my code. If you're interested in this, go get the book and go run it yourself. And that's really all I wanted to say. I think that might be the shortest talk yet. Yeah. <laughs>